Good morning everybody and welcome back to my channel or hi hello if you are new here and thank you for joining me for today's video. I say good morning because it is actually morning here but when you're watching this I normally upload in the evening so whatever time of day it is, good morning, good afternoon, good evening and good night. What film is that from? Today I'm going to be heading off to B&M to do another £20 hamper so I'm going to pick up loads of little bits from B&M and pop them into a hamper with a £20 budget. I did one for Home Bargains, which I'll link down below so you can watch that one if you haven't already. I always try and make them sort of themed as well so that they all like match in, like colour themed. So I'm going to try and do that again today. Uh, hopefully it works out well. I always feel like B&M is more expensive than Home Bargains or their items, their like Christmassy items are more expensive. So we'll see what I can pick up. Hopefully I can get a nice hamper put together for you guys. I'm going to head off, show you everything in B&M as well, like all of the separate gift ideas so that you can see what else is in there. And then I'll come back here, put my hamper together and then sit down and do an unboxing of the hamper with you guys. So yeah, I really hope you enjoy coming on with me to B&M today and seeing everything that I pick up to go in my £20 B&M hamper. I am back from B&M and I have my hamper here. I will say I didn't struggle more in B&M. There was loads and loads of choice in there. I just struggled for the £20 budget. I just think that things in B&M are a little bit more expensive. They have a few more branded products, which I wanted to include in this hamper so that it had a mixture of different brands and stuff. And I ended up going with a kind of orangey beige theme, which actually matches this room so well. And I just used my same little basket hamper box that I got from Home Bargains the other week. And then I just got some little bits of tissue paper in there, which I also reused from my last hamper. I did include in the little video showing you everything new in B&M, some of their little baskets and things that they had in B&M, so I thought they would look really nice to use as a hamper. So I don't think it's gonna take me very long to unbox this one because I, there's not loads in it. I just feel like with Home Bargains, I got loads within my hamper with four twenty pounds whereas each item here was a little bit more expensive. So anyway, let's just get into it. I really hope you enjoy seeing what I got from B&M. So I'm gonna start with this beautiful Christmas mug. They had a really good mug selection there actually I did include a little bit of footage of some different mugs that they had in my video before me showing you this uh, but this is the mug that I chose it's a very nice neutral mug I just also really like it because it's that chunky stone type mug whereas a lot of them were the glass ones which I do like it's called the embossed stoneware mug and it was only three pounds fifty 
which I thought was really, really good. It's a lovely big mug and it is actually really nice quality. Like it's very sturdy and like hard wearing. It says it's also microwave and dishwasher safe. So I feel like this would be a great gift for somebody. And even if you weren't doing a hamper, this mug is so big that you could actually fill it with like little gifts. You could maybe put like a pair of socks in there, some chocolate or like a little hot chocolate making set or something. Um, you could actually use this mug to do that. Maybe if you're doing a secret Santa for work or something, that would look really nice because this mug just doesn't, it looks really fancy and it was obviously only £3.50. Okay, next up, and the reason why we ended up going for an orangey theme with this hamper is because I picked up these. I did have in my mind that I wanted to include Terry's chocolate orange within this hamper just because I feel like that is the ultimate Christmas chocolate. Um, and I saw these, which are the Terry's chocolate orange creamy milk chocolate truffles. And I thought these looked a little bit more fancier compared to just the regular you know, chocolate orange, and they actually look really, really yummy. Now these were quite expensive considering in my Home Bargains hamper, I did get a full chocolate selection for I think it was about £1.80. These were £3.50 just for this one box of chocolates. So you can see why this hamper has got a lot less in it, just because the price of things are a little bit more expensive. But you do get 20 chocolates in here and you know, they do look very nice. The next thing that I picked up, which was only a pound, is this face mask. Now this is from the Skin Techniques brand, which I think is like a B&M kind of brand. They always have it in there. Uh, this is the Volcanic Mud Bubble Sheet Mask, cleansing and exfoliating. So not only is this orange that so went with the theme, I also just love the idea that it is a bubble mask. I've used a bubble mask before, and I mean, I don't know if it's just a bit gimmicky, but I did really enjoy it. It was quite a fun way to have a mask. And it says it exfoliates the skin and deep cleans pores for toned, refreshed skin. So I think you just put the mask on like this. Hang on, let's read it. Clean your face, massage the pouch to mix the contents inside thoroughly, tear open the pack and remove and unfold the mask. Apply the mask to your face, smoothing it down to ensure full contact to the skin. Leave the mask in place for 15 minutes, allowing the mask to fully oxygenate. Starting at one side of the mask, gently peel back the mask away from your skin and then rinse with lukewarm water. So I don't know if it bubbles up underneath the mask or on top of it, but I thought it looked cool anyway, and it was only a pound, so yeah, I thought that was a good one to include. Next up, I picked up a candle. I could not not get this candle. It's so freaking cute. Look at it. I just love the packaging of this. I think this is the same as the little gingerbread. Yeah, it is. I've got the diffuser over there. I don't know if you can just see it in the side of the screen, but I have a little gingerbread cookie reed diffuser over there, which smells so good, by the way. It's actually really strong, and you can definitely smell it when you come into this room. So I picked up the gingerbread cookie candle and you can just smell it through the top here and it, it just smells so good. If you like that sort of smell, it is that sweet gingerbready smell. Not everybody would love it and it's quite strong. Absolutely gorgeous. I really, really like it. Now this one says it, but it has a burn time of 26 hours and it was £2.50. Okay, next up, and this was the most expensive item that I included in here. I think this was £4.95. Yes, it was. Now I included this one because it is orange, but also because I use and love this product all the time. It's really, really good. If you're looking for something to really hydrate your hair, make it shinier, detangle it, this is what you wanna try. And normally this is 9.99, so it was about half price in B&M. Um, it's called the LV Dream Lengths Wonder Water, eight second wonder water. Uh, it's long hair transformation. It makes it up to 10 times smoother, shinier, and no way down. It's for long damaged hair. Now with this, you just wash your hair as normal in the shower and then you break the seal off and then you just like drizzle this and it is like water drizzle it in the ends of your hair you leave it for eight seconds and you just rinse it out and honestly you can like run your fingers through your hair in the shower and it makes it really shiny and just obviously detangling as well which is nice when you get out of the shower it doesn't feel all knotty and it's just a lovely product because you can't feel it even though it's obviously doing something to the hair which i don't understand because it takes eight seconds you just can't feel anything in the hair so i wanted to pick this one up for me anyway, because I've just run out of mine. But this is definitely something that I would include in the hamper, just because I feel like you can't go wrong with this product because it's really good. And if somebody who you're gifting the hamper for hasn't tried it before or has long hair or something, I just think you can't go wrong with this product. And it's nice to include obviously a good brand within the hamper as well. So yeah, I did spend 
basically a quarter of the budget on this one product but I know it works, I love it and I feel like if I gifted it to somebody in my family or friend they would also love it too so I had to include it. Okay next I picked up a vanilla cream luxury hand wash. This is from the Russell and Windsor range which I've bought these hand washes so many times. I use them at home, I use them at work, I just use them wherever I can because they're really really good and they're very affordable. This was actually even on sale so I think it was only a pound. Yeah it was only one pound and this is actually from their Christmas range so it has lovely kind of Christmas decor on it. We've got like snowflakes on there and it's it's in this lovely black and cream packaging which I just thought is very neutral, goes with loads of people's homes. They had a few different ones within the range but I liked the idea of the vanilla cream um, and I didn't actually smell it in store, I thought I'd save that for the video so let's see what it smells like. Oh, I'll tell you what, it's not actually vanilla -y at all, I don't think. Maybe when you use it and you've like lathered it up it smells a bit more vanilla -y. It's actually a lot more fresh and fruity than what I thought it would be, but it smells really good. These hand washes are so lovely and thick and luxurious for the price, you honestly can't go wrong with them. And you get 500ml in here, so it's a really nice big bottle. They also do 750ml bottles of this, which is what I take to work, and they're, they last for ages and they're really nice. So I thought this was a great like bulking out item to put within the hamper which only cost a pound. Okay and last but not least I picked up this product from Sanctuary Spa. This is the Polishing Hot Cloth Cleanser. Instantly illuminating and powerful with cleansing ritual. Uh, coconut oil, jojoba oil and it's got the muslin cloth in there as well and it says it's for all skin types so you can't really go wrong with that. And of course it is another branded item and it was orange so I had to include it in here. But I thought this is really nice to include in the hamper because it's almost like a present within itself, this one. I think it was 3 99 Yeah, it was. So on the slightly more expensive side again, but I do think it makes a lovely gift. And then of course in here you do get the cloth as well, which is in a little packet. And then you get your cleanser here also. And because it said it was for every skin type, I thought you couldn't really go too wrong with it. And it's also just really pretty packaging. I think one thing I do look out for when I'm making the hampers is nice packaging on products because it just makes the whole thing look a lot nicer, you know? So that is everything that I've got in my hamper. That is it. It's not as much as the Home Bargains one. I don't know which one I preferred, let me know down below which one you preferred, but I will say it gave me, when I was in B&M I did have a little bit of a thought that the B&M cleaning range is definitely better than Home Bargains in my opinion. So I did think if you know somebody who loves cleaning, then a cleaning hamper would be so good from B&M. So maybe that is another one I might do if I've got time before Christmas, but if not, that was just an idea to give you that you could definitely fill up a lovely hamper filled with lovely Christmassy cleaning products and that would be a great gift for somebody who loves cleaning. So that brings us to the end of today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I am going to be doing more of these hampers. I'm gonna do a TK Maxx one, a Poundland one. I'm also gonna do a gift guide where I'm just putting together like random gifts that I've got but like bougie ones and affordable ones but like wouldn't do it all in one haul just to make a bit more of an interesting video but if you have any video ideas please let me know I'd love to hear from you in the comments I hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope you're enjoying all of the festivities and I look forward to seeing you in my next video bye mm -hmm.